Hi green lovers! It is early February and it is time for me to plant my 2022 single seed challenge. Now I'm really excited about the plant that I've chosen because I think it is the prettiest pepper in the world. So stay tuned, coming right up. So just to give you a little bit of background on the single seed challenge, this is something that was started by Scott Head two years ago. So this is year three, and he is from a wonderful YouTube channel called Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Do check it out. It's one of the best, in my opinion, on vegetable gardening on the internet. But anyway, back to the single seed challenge. This is something that he started a couple of years ago. And the intent was, you know how we plant a lot of seeds in our garden every year. We watch them grow. We do a lot of learning from them. And uh, we become better gardeners as a result of it. But usually we plant these seeds in mass. We plant large quantities of peppers and kale and tomatoes, etc., etc. And sometimes you lose touch with the plant itself because you're looking at them as a broad category rather than an individual plant. So Scott started this challenge in order for us to bring focus back to that single plant and to really enjoy and be mesmerized by the beauty that is the single seed as it starts its life, goes through it, produces those fruits, and then finally completes its life cycle. Watching that end-to-end -end life cycle something mentally and spiritually very very powerful about that and so that is why I've been doing it for the past two years and this is the third year running and I hope to gain a lot of learnings from it but let me rewind you to my single seed challenge the first time I did it two years ago so in 2020 my single seed challenge choice was berries crazy cherry and it was just this fascinating little tomato cherry tomato plant that grew in these big bunches and uh, just the picture just blew my mind and i was not disappointed in the plant itself i got some incredible fruit from it and i also got some incredible learnings but i think probably the most important and most spiritual aspect of the entire experience actually happened towards the end of the life cycle of the plant. And the plant was on its way out. It had started to dry out. And I discovered a very large tomato hornworm on it that was busily taking the plant down. And under normal circumstances, I'd have been really upset by the tomato hornworm and I'd have taken it and threw it away. But I realized that it was there for a reason. It was there to help the plant complete its life cycle and it had a very important place a very important spot in the life cycle of the plant so i let it stay on the plant and then what i noticed a couple of days later the tomato hornworm was gone it was probably subject to the next predator in the food chain probably a bird or something picked that up but again the key learning for me was that nature exists in balance and the more we disrupt that balance by doing things like pesticides and herbicides and all the other things that we do to break that cycle that nature is so desperately trying to put in place that balance the worse it is for our plants so it does require us to embrace what nature is throwing at us and not see it as a pest see it as part of a plant's life cycle and then with that mindset work to see how you can enhance the plant's health in spite of all of these things that nature is trying to do but without necessarily disrupting that cycle. So that was year one. Now year two I planted a Chinese five color pepper. Now I'd never planted ornamental peppers before but again I was attracted by the picture. It was another one from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds and it just looked so pretty and I wanted to try a different plant so I chose the pepper this time and it was also a wonderful experience. The plant grew well. I took care of it. I got some beautiful fruits from it and it opened up a whole new world to me on the new vegetable called the pepper. And I say the new vegetable because I always thought about peppers as peppers, you know, they're either hot or sweet peppers. 
I had no clue about the enormous varieties of peppers, the number of shapes and colors and sizes that they came in. Um, I became part of a community on Facebook called Pepper Lovers and it blew my mind the incredible variety of peppers and the beauty of the peppers and the various Scoville ratings and the flavors. I mean, the fruit flavors and the... It's okay, I'll stop there. But there is a whole world of peppers just waiting to be discovered by you if all that you think about peppers is hot peppers or sweet peppers. So, ornamental peppers also have, you know, that was a pretty spicy little pepper that I, um, that I grew. And it also had a very sort of a fruity flavor. And I made my own pepper flakes for the very first time after I grew that pepper. And I will tell you, I am never going back to store-bought pepper flakes again. I'm going to grow my own hot peppers and make my own pepper flakes because just, it's not even, there is no comparison between what you get in the store versus what you grow at home. And I'm not just saying that. You have to experience it to believe it. So if you like hot pepper flakes, grow yourself some hot peppers and open your eyes to the wonderful world of peppers. So back to this year's single seed challenge. I'm going with the pepper again because I just couldn't get enough of peppers last year. So I'm growing about maybe oh, 30 to 40 varieties. Well, maybe even a little bit more than 40 varieties of peppers this year. Let's see how many of them grow from seedling stage to adult. That's, uh, that's a little bit of a wild card when it comes to peppers. They are a little finicky as seedlings. So I think I'm growing roughly 40 varieties. I hope I get at least 30 of them to survive to adulthood so I get the experience of 30 different types of peppers. And they're mostly hot peppers. Those are the ones that have, in my experience at least, the most uh, varieties and colors and shapes and sizes to choose from. The sweet peppers, there's a much smaller selection. But again, maybe I'm just not looking in the right place, but hot peppers is what I'm gonna be growing a lot of uh, this year. So let's see how that does. Follow me along on my journey. I will keep you updated on how things are progressing. So subscribe to my channel if you wanna see that. But for this year, I have chosen what I believe is going to be the prettiest pepper I've ever grown and arguably the prettiest pepper in the world. So I got this recommendation from another favorite YouTube channel of mine, this channel called Pepper Geek. And um, yeah, so after I started researching peppers, I started looking for YouTubers that just focus on peppers and you won't believe there's a lot of them out there and a lot of incredible pepper growers but pepper geek is an awesome channel as well and he recommended i think five or six pretty peppers to grow and one of them that i really really liked is the jigsaw pepper just look at that guys it is a tricolored variegate leaf pepper it's got shades of green and white and purple in its leaves, not just the fruits. Even the fruits come in a variety of colors, but this is just the leaves have many, many colors in them. And the nice thing about it is it's also a pretty stocky plant. So it grows maybe about one foot tall and across. So it's not a very large plant. And uh, that also means that it probably grows a lot faster and comes to size and starts producing a lot faster as well, which is good for me because I'm a little bit behind my game as far as getting my single seed challenge up and going. So for peppers, you typically want to start them 10 to 12 weeks, especially the hot peppers, maybe even a little bit more before your last frost date. I'm about four weeks away from my last frost date. Fortunately, Zone 9B, California, thank you. Long growing season. I can definitely grow this to full size and produce some great peppers if I do my job right. So let's go ahead and get the single seed going. Okay, so the main thing to keep in mind when it comes to germinating pepper seeds, especially the hot peppers, is that they require more than any other seed that I know, a temperature that is appropriate for germination, a warm temperature. So anything from like you know, 75 to 85 degrees or even a little bit more than that Fahrenheit is what these things need to germinate. So what I do to germinate my pepper seeds is I use a fairly shallow container like this. This is a couple of inches tall. I fill it with soil. I plant the seeds in it. 
I put a dome on top of it to keep the soil nice and moist and warm. And then I put it on a heat mat. And I can get seeds, pepper seeds to germinate in a week, even the hot pepper seeds using this method. Now, even though this is a single seed challenge, because I'm growing this as an ornamental pepper, I actually want to grow a pair of peppers that I can place on either side of my front door or gazebo or something like that. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit, um, grow two pepper seeds, but really the idea is it's a single theme, right? It's an ornamental pepper that I'm gonna grow for the purpose of decoration. I need a pair in order to do that decoration, so I'm gonna plant two plants. And the double cheat that I always do every year because I'm not a risk taker is I like to plant a backup plant for the seed that I am trying to grow. So in this particular case, since I am going to be planting two pepper plants, I am going to be planting four seeds. And here are the four seeds that I have chosen, out of which two of these are going to be my quote unquote single seed challenge. And I will give away the other two. So here we go, folks. The seeds are going to be planted. All I'm doing is putting them on the surface in four different spots. I'm going to push them down just a little bit so that they're making contact with the soil. Cover them up. And my single seed challenge is planted. I'm going to put this on a heat mat and I will come back and I will update you when the seeds germinate. So stay tuned and follow along. The hashtag is Single Seed Challenge 2022. If you search for that, you'll be able to find all the other wonderful gardeners who are participating in the Single Seed Challenge. And I encourage you to do so as well. I hope to see your video and put a comment below if you're gonna be participating and what seed you're gonna be growing. I promise you, it's a lot of fun and I hope more people join in on this really, really, really fun journey. I will also put a link to playlist for my two previous single seed challenges. Throw a like in this video if you enjoyed it, folks. And until next time, live green and love your greens.